Welcome back, it's your boy Flexion, coming at you from Share Factory, brought to you by Flexision on PS4. Alright, so we're going to be doing something a little different today. We're editing photos and coming up with some thumbnails. So first I want to get you guys familiar with the limit to how many photos you can have at a time. The limit I believe is 16. You can go ahead and check that out here. 15, 16. I'm just going to pick some random images here that we can, you know, work with. Alright, so yeah, that's, that's the limit. 16 is about the limit. And I'm going to go through and show you guys the frames that we have to work with. There are various different frames for the number of pictures that you have, as you can see. So we're going to go from the least to the greatest. So we're going to start off with one frame. These aren't going to look too pretty here, but this is just to give you guys an idea on what you can do with this. So notice how there's one photo that we're working with and there's one frame that goes with it. All right, so now we're in two frames. This is what it's going to look like with your different layouts for the two frames. Okay, so as we get into this, you see how there's more ways that you can put the picture. Like your picture doesn't have to stay as it is with the frame going like that you could switch it up you could swap where your picture wants to be at in the frames and try to pay attention to that white border because that's what separates your photos and you can change the color of that and everything like that but i'll get more in depth with that in another video if you guys have any more questions but you know this is just me introducing you guys to the photo side of the share factory all right so where are we at right now we're at five frames all right looking pretty good notice how the images continue to pop up as we go more and more into these frames so once we get to 16 frames you'll see all the images that I've selected the reason why you don't see as many pictures right now is because we're only on six frames going on seven frames see once you you know stick with the layout that you like you can actually go through and edit the photos but we'll get into that later on as we go along here so yeah nine frames this is pretty, you know, I thought it was pretty interesting when I first started because it's, it's useful, you know, you can make different photo collages and whatnot and things like that. Later on throughout the video, I'll be showing you guys some examples on what Share Factory has so you guys can have a better idea on what to do while you're editing your photos. Right now, we're going into 14 frames. As you can see, more pictures are appearing and there's not really much to work with once you add more photos. But yeah, that pretty much covers a segment on how many frames that you can use and how many pictures you can add in the, this section. So we're going to go over to your photos. Notice how you're in the photo section of the Share Factory menu. All right. So we're going to go through and actually make a new project here. I'm going to go through and make a little photo real quick for you guys. Show you guys how it's done. So yeah, when I went through, I took a little bit of time to edit this. I didn't make this the thumbnail or anything but you can make thumbnails through here. Like let's let's say that you want something as your thumbnail. You can go straight to here in your photos and edit it as you see me doing it right now. I'm almost done with this photo here, but I'm using this photo to put into one of my next clips. I think you guys already seen it before, the photo and thumbnail edits, yeah. It was up there earlier. So I'm editing this right now really quick. I'm gonna go through and you know add little finishing touches on here and I'm just gonna save it you don't have to save the project but I just went through and uh, did that so I can be able to use the content to put into the photos of the videos sorry alright so next we're gonna go to our videos I'm gonna explain to you guys what I'm gonna do about the thumbnail alright so let's say you got your video going and let's say that uh, you know there's a clip that you really like like that one that, that seems really fascinating to me, so I think I'm going to go ahead and make that the thumbnail. Alright, so let me run it back a little bit and, you know, picture what I want to do. I want to get a good layout for this thumbnail, because I want it to look as presentable as I can. So, I'm going to go through and edit this real quick. Alright, now that I'm done editing it, I can go through and pick a point to stop the video after I add my little, you know, finishing touches. I have that, and then this. 
all right so it's pretty much ready now my thumbnail is ready to go so what you want to do here is stop the video hover over where you want the thumbnail to be and be sure to click on the options button on your controller the menu to pop up and then you click generate thumbnail thumbnail will be saved and as you go through you know you don't have anything else to worry about you know so that, that's how you do the thumbnail all right so look we got some uh photos here that we're gonna look at i just want to show you guys a brief example on what you can do i didn't like the quote that I was putting uh, i didn't like the quote that was there so i had to go through and edit it and change it up a bit i just want to show you guys how flexible you can be but these are some examples that i was talking about earlier for the frames that you can use obviously this is one frame all right let's go into multiple frames now after this one of course all right you see how uh you see how you see what they're doing there yeah that's, that's that's what they're doing i mean this is this is pretty much it i mean if you guys have any more questions about this uh photos and how to do the thumbnails let me know in the comments below i want to thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one